Cooking time. It's, uh, it's science time with Chris and Jamie. Yes, yeah, science. It's a new feature called science time. Science time. Um, you know, one of the things that was cool about the vlog was that people were always asking us about siphons. Yes. Um, if we used them, if we had them, uh, if we could talk about them, and or if we didn't have them, would be we willing to just go for it? So thankfully, a lot of people yeah. actually reached out and said they had one. This one in particular is uh, a local guy named Peter, Peter Medina. So he uh, kindly dropped it off. Uh, after a local November project and said, hey, why not try to use this? Yeah, and a shout out to Jen Elliott who has also offered her siphon. Yeah. So it, we're gonna see if it's different than this one. Yeah, we're exactly. Try that one out too. There's definitely, the thing about siphons, there's different sizes, there's different um, sort of builds for how much coffee you're gonna make. And then the other side is, there's also different types of fuel material. So one of the coolest things about these vacuum pots or these siphons is that you heat the water up uh, with, with some kind of heat source. In this case, an alcohol mm -hmm. uh, and a wick. There's also ones where you use uh, butane and then there's super fancy ones infrared that use infrared and there's heats under here mm -hmm. and I think it's a really cool experience now Jamie and I have never done this no, never. Uh, there's this is there's no practice to this <laughs> I've we never haven't... even seen this happen in real life oh okay it's my first time yeah and so one of the key things here uh, is obviously use fresh coffee we are using uh, some rogue wave some Rwandan rogue wave that was uh, roasted at the end of March, this uh, Kini Farmers Group. So haven't tried this coffee at all, so this will be our first go attempt at it. The other side of it is that you want to, especially in a fuel source like this, heat the water up first. So um, It's gonna take a really long time otherwise. Yeah, and you'll use a lot of, lot of fuel. So if you just put cold water in there and then actually just tried to uh, light that up, it wouldn't work very well, right? I feel like we need safety goggles for this. I feel like I had safety goggles. <laughs> oh, I don't. Um, you're going to use, this one holds safely about 300 milliliters of, of water and you want to use about 7-ish grams per 100 milliliters. So depending if you have a 5, a 4, a uh, 200 milliliter siphon, you can kind of find that ratio of 7 grams of coffee for every 100 milliliters uh, of water. Should we measure it out? Let's do this. Okay. That was a hard one to we are going to grow with uh, sort of a medium grind coffee. Is that on and okay? Yeah. And we're going to put in roughly 21 grams of coffee. So we have preheated, um, we've preheated some water here, which will help. The siphon itself is made up of a top piece, uh, a cloth filter inside that you may be able to see there, a bottom piece, your fuel source, uh, and then your, your bottom is actually attached to this, this fancy fancy handle, which makes it quite easy to, uh, to serve after. Do you want to uh, start the fire? Start the fire. We're going to start the fire. And then what we'll do, do you want to weigh out some water? Just put 300, you said? 300 in there. Again, if you don't know, scales will change your coffee game. So um, make sure you, uh, you look at a scale. Bam, bam, bam. 300. Okay, so now that we have our, our, our coffee measured out, we are gonna put that under the heat source. And then we're gonna put this in just at a bit of an angle, just so that we don't get that uh, vacuum pressure started yet, just as it's heating up. As you can tell, the water comes pretty quickly because we've preheated it. And the idea being, obviously, as it heats, uh, the steam actually changes the pressure. You'll notice a rubber gasket right here, and it actually makes all the water move up into the upper container. 
So now we'll close that down and start to build that, uh, that pressure. So that gets to about uh, 95 degrees or just, just over 200. Once that happens, dump the coffee in. And then you want to give it a uh, stir for about uh, 10 or 12 times, they say. And then we're going to set the timer here for one minute. So once it's about a minute, so we're a couple seconds away, we actually pull the heat off it. Uh, and then as it cools down, it drives itself back down into the, uh, into the lower vessel. So there's a minute. So we'll pull the heat off. We'll put this dangerous flame out. <laughs> and then it should take another what? minute. It's like an old school AeroPress. Yeah. So the, 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 the French created this sometime in the 1830s, 1840s. And then it saw a big resurgence uh, in the US in the uh, 20s and 30s. Yeah. Kind of the original slow coffee movement, obviously. Mm -hmm. It takes some time. There is not that many places that are gonna do this. It's, it's uh, equipment, fuel. Um, but if you love the idea of coffee, mm -hmm. I think you know there's this ritual to coffee that I think we both love. This is a neat way to experience that ritual. Yeah, and after dinner, for your dinner to, dinner guests, like. Oh, can you imagine yeah. having a dinner party and then you're like, just pull this out. Yeah, let me pull out my science experiment. Unless you're like the fourth person and then you're like waiting forever and you're <laughs> yeah. like, okay, when's my coffee coming? Yeah, you can only have one dinner guest. And then you're left with this beautiful cup of coffee. Yeah. It is served quite warm, so you you probably do. This is going to be that um, that cup of coffee that you get from like a second cup that burns your mouth because right. they use water that somehow is. 250 degrees yeah. which is, is impossible so but <laughs> yeah I feel like there's this moment when you get really hot coffee um, That's quite hot. yeah it's gonna be hot I think for like a first time not having taste these mm -hmm. uh, these beans yet right I think yes yeah, be first time it is it is fairly simple yeah I expected it to be like 20 minutes of coffee making yeah yeah and then um, and the internet is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little light. It is. Reminds me of like an iced tea. Yeah. So I think, again, I think that could be grind. I think we go a little bit, mm. a little bit uh, finer. And they, there was a few different options for um, how much ground as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. That looks really hot still. Yeah. Very hot, just I took. Yeah. This is a uh, a bourbon 139 varietal. It's a washed bean um, from 2190 in altitude. Um, oh, I think I do get a little bit of that. It is supposed to have. Ready for it? Dried plum, which I don't get. No. Cola, which I get. Oh. I think I get that, that cola flavor to it. Also supposed to have orange, which I get a little bit of, mm -hmm. and caramel, which yeah, I don't I get. get. Oh, I get caramel. You get caramel. Yeah. And it could be a temperature thing. It tastes almost like toffee to me. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Like yeah, dark. So I think at the end of the day, the cool part about this is that it is something neat. Now, if you're in a hurry or you're yeah. making your morning coffee, you're probably yeah, not gonna do this. this is not an everyday. It could be, but it's probably not an everyday yeah. coffee maker. 
if you like work from home, uh, right. you know, I don't yeah. know, you're at home a lot, <laughs> maybe this is the type of coffee that's kind of cool. Yeah. I can see how this stuff really is, becomes a mindset of, of taking time. This is a slow process. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing to me that a lot of coffee makers that we use now, like even the Chemex, have such a long history. Yeah. And now we're just kind of coming back to them. They're like, oh, maybe they, maybe they had some good ideas there. Yeah, because outside of like safety glass, um, yeah. nothing has changed really for yeah. a siphon or you know um, this kind of idea. Mm -hmm. It hasn't really changed. Yeah. It's kind of like a you know like a bath when you take a bath. Mm -hmm. Like 99.9% of the time you take a shower, you wake up, you have a shower, right. but occasionally have a bath or like Sometimes on the weekends, like you have a bath, yep. you put some fancy stuff in the water. This is like you buy a nice coffee bean right. on a Saturday yep. and you're catching up on things or you're listening to some music and you just make a siphon. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sweet. Science time. Yeah. With Jamie and Chris. No explosions. hot, but quite delicious actually.